welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am sitting down very, um, what's the word? This was not planned, um, but I really wanted to film something and I thought, you know what? I'm facing something quite big this evening. Um, and then I'm seeing my friends afterwards at my friend's house. So I just want to feel a bit better than I did before. And this makeup has helped. So if you want to see like my every weekend, like at the weekend, what kind of makeup I do, this is literally it. Um, sometimes I do eyeshadow today. It's not one of those days. I don't have the capacity for that, but we're going to put a bit more of this on. I'm addicted. I'm a lip oil addict. If there's a thing as makeup rehab, I should go because it's an obsession. Um, but yeah, so if you want to see how like I do my makeup, just talking through the products I'm using, just basically like a chit chat, get ready with me kind of thing. Um, I'd already done my brows and my lashes. Um, but we did a bit of skincare prep, looking after the skin while slathering about thousands, 10,000 layers of makeup on. Um, but yeah, and if you just want to be with me whilst I just ramble about how this week has been absolutely shocking for me, then carry on watching. So, <laughs> we are going to take off what's on my skin, which isn't much. <laughs> this stalk is literally going to give way on me. I can just sense it. But I've done my brows and lashes and that. I've had that on today. But we're going to do the rest of my makeup because I'm seeing Paige later and I just, I have had the most horrendous week. I took it off as holiday because I just, I've been all over the place. So I've taken some time for me, which if you know me, you know I never do. So we made improvement there already. Um... But yeah, so we're just gonna have a bit of makeup therapy and hopefully I can help one of you guys because I'm not an expert, trust me. I have sought assistance in my, you know, my journey and there is no shame in that. There is no shame. Look how red I am now. Like, look, see this, this actually it says it's a complexion boosting primer illuminate it it has coverage of some proportion but look how much i've used like you can tell it's been used and abused um so yeah i just thought you know what it's the end of a week i'm so glad to see this week go i'm feeling a lot better i'm feeling a bit more on top of things now and it I think anyone can agree with me watching when you feel like you're drowning because of situations and you just feel like you can't get up for air it's one of the most suffocating horrendous feelings ever i'm really glad to be out with that now so yeah i'm just gonna uh, that, that, mm, it's gonna have fluffed my skin in it mm. so one thing i am gonna do before i do a bit more like reapply my skincare because i feel like these things on my skin are why one of the many oh and something new actually which i can show you i've got i'm actually using things from my advent calendar can we believe it um i literally just feel like i'm talking to friends <laughs> it's so nice um and i've really got into my filming content game as well which has really helped my mental well-being and um, this is a mario badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water now i didn't think i'd like this because i hate the smell of rose oh it makes me feel violently ill however this scent is actually all right so we could do that in a minute however the first thing we are going to do if i've got it but i'm going to slice my face this is a hollywood browser because i realize i saw a lot oh yeah a lot of peach fuzz which is not going to help my makeup application at all bloody hell like i'm all about embracing you know but that is a lot <laughs> quite a bit but you know you just don't know and also it just helps get all the dirt out this is the original one i got the w7 dupe um and they do so many out there on the market but oh ow that's what i mean slicing my skin yeah, I did. Okay, right. So now I've defluffed myself. <laughs> We're going to go in with the Revolution SPF Defense um, Serum. Oh, I thought this. What did I think this was? I don't know. But it's. Well, it's bloody miracles on my skin, I tell you. Then I'm actually going to mix it. How goes to look? This is the Naturally Radiant by Superdrug. Drug. 
There we go. If I didn't look crazy before, I look crazy now. <laughs> I'm going to mix them together. It just adds. I realise I never used to do skincare before I do my makeup, which sounds ridiculous, doesn't it, really? To anyone with sense. Um, but that's why I think my skin was getting so dry and just so horrible because I wasn't looking after it before I slathered stuff on it. So, yeah. Oh, I just feel so much better already. These two products, I don't think, I don't know if you can get either of them. This one is really, really good. I don't know what, I think it's supposed to be due for Fenty. I'm not too sure. This, I don't know if you can get any more. I probably don't know if I should even be using it on my skin, but it hasn't broken me out. So clearly it's all right. Um, and a bit of cooling eye gel under the eyes. This stuff is really good because I just, I suffer from really puffy eyes. Oh God. I'm sorry if your eyes when you're having like a facial or something, so. Um, new press-ons from Primark, bougie, because that's just the move we're going with. Now, I don't know if I should really use this on top of lashes, so. <laughs> oh, God, I really have um, gone quite tan with the dermaplaning on the skin. Never mind. Um, but, yeah, this does, it's, it's quite pungent, but it makes your skin feel amazing. And you know, underneath makeup, you need you need to look after your skin. Um, so we're going to put some of this on. This is the Revolution um, Goddess Glow Lip Oil. We all know I love. I love a good lip oil. I do. I, I just do. Oh, should I cut my skin again? No, it's a spot. <laughs> just go with the flow. Um, so, yeah. Oh. <sighs> So, in we go, back with the collection filter finish. This stuff just is revolutionary. I absolutely bloody love it. And I'm just going to use a trig well brush, my usual, if you've watched my channel before. Because my skin's already quite glowy now because of the products I've used skincare wise. So now I'm going to look like a little bit of a moon, but that is fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, this week has just not been fun, but I've grown so much within myself because I thought of myself as so small and so weak and I just couldn't cope with the potential situation that was potentially going to go down. And you know what? You are a lot stronger than you think you are. And I feel like such a hypocrite saying that because I'm going to go through phases where I'm like, no, as human beings, it's what we do. We project onto ourselves. But when I tell you, if I can, <coughs> food shop's sick. <laughs> Just had to help mum with the food shop. But yeah, this stuff is really inexpensive and you need it. I can't remember where I got to in our chat, but um, yeah, life hasn't been easy to say the least. But you know what? Like, look how disgusting that is. <laughs> I need to clean my stuff, like seriously. Um, I'm going to go and dampen this. Products we're going to be using. Because this is like my everyday kind of weekend glam, I guess. Um, I just don't know which one to use. My foundation or the camo. Because this is amazing. So is this. You know what? We're going to go in with the big, big boys. Double revolution. Look at the size difference. Like, do I have another one of these? Yeah. Like, <laughs> and that's the colour it's supposed to be. So, I'm going to try and get one of her marshmallow sponge cleaners. Like, I know it's with brushes and sponges, but I, I trust her sponge cleaner the most because obviously it's from her brand. But anyway, so I'm not going to go into full detail about what's going on. Some of you may be able to guess, some of you may not be able to guess. Um, Oh god, you can tell I haven't used this in a while. Ugh. Um Okay. So yeah, I'm not gonna go into detail just about yet because I don't know what's going on. You know when you just don't wanna and then have to explain yourself more than um but yeah, so it's just been a bit of a shitty time and you know what? It's made me really grateful for my family. Well, I'm always grateful for my family, but you know when stuff goes down and you just feel really low and then the people that are there for you, 
are some people that you wouldn't have expected. Some people that you would have expected. Like, look at that redness. Gone. Oh, I have got hot. Do I love this foundation? <laughs> it's the IRL filter foundation. It's literally a filter in the bottle. I don't use it often because I love the camo um, tinted CC thing from e.l.f. But this is a really good product. And this sponge, I did judge them because I hadn't dampened it enough when I first ever tried it. Um, but the product is amazing. Like, don't get me wrong. I do prefer the Jenna Tutorials ones still. I do. But this is a good sponge. Would I repurchase them? Probably not, actually. I've gone on an absolute tangent. But no, I probably wouldn't repurchase merely for the fact that i've got other ones that are a bit less expensive like you're definitely paying for quality don't get me wrong with this sponge but i can get cheaper ones that i like just as much if not a bit more so but look how easy that was and we're all done well nearly like i look like a ghost but this foundation is amazing and it's a tenner and it's just if you want to know my favorite affordable foundation sex revolution this is a bit more expensive this is a tenner for a concealer whereas you can get cheap ones but this is my favorite concealer they do because the color is just perfect for me and also the finish and the coverage it's just insane this is my second one for me to have a buy concealer twice like like hello two taps pretty much and it's gone it's so creamy but the coverage is amazing like it's one of the few concealers that i feel gets rid of my under eye circles like as in like the pigmentation under my eyes because this week has not been a good week for sleep kids <laughs> I, it really has not um and my family like my family are always there for me they are the most supportive people i have in my life you know so i'm very fortunate my friends Paige, god nina malika or oh, i would have done without those girls i actually <laughs> it makes me kind of emotional to talk about but i'm not gonna cry i said crying is potentially for later not now <laughs> uh yeah okay now why is matte blending is now it's fine um put a little bit more in with a bit of powder foundation nothing major though we're literally gonna really lightly dust this under the eyes because i'm gonna use my trick well powder puff but it's just okay so now we are gonna use a bit of the face frosting that is my hair This is just to like start the framework for my bronzing because I don't know how to use this product perfectly yet, but it is a good product. I just, I need to work with it. I need to learn. I need to get some like lessons because I wouldn't necessarily say I'm obsessed with it like some people, but I don't think I apply it in the right way. So if you've got this product, like most people in the world right now, can you tell me how you apply it? Because I just don't think I'm doing it right. So I, I literally, I start it off, it's bronzing, and then I go in with Toned Up from Made by Mitchell. Slather it on the back there. And the Made by Mitchell brush. Kind of just do you get what I mean? You get the effect. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use my sponge <laughs> to blend it all out. Like I love this product. It's one of my holy grails. You can use it as lipstick, eyeshadow. It's what I love about his like brand. You don't have to just use it for what it's pot potentially marketed for. So I'm just going to put a bit more on. So 
some powder products because I just don't want it to move around on my skin. But I'm going to really, really lightly like I don't want to go too heavy you know but I also I need to sort of like improve the look that we've got going on and then this that was just my trusty palette which I don't think you can get anymore and um, this is also revolution this is the uh, splendor ultra matte bronzer in fair to light like it's huge and I only need like a little bit of this because it is very pigmented but I just need it to I'm gonna probably look a bit orange, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> it is fine. Um, and I'm just saying, in this video, I'm gonna scream about what I'm using to actually apply the products because I feel like a makeup product can be, like the makeup product on its own needs to perform, but if you're not using the right stuff or if the tools don't work well with the product, then you're not gonna really hit it off, are you? So Trigwell Cosmetics brushes. I've got a few. I got them in mystery bundles and stuff like that. These are the face brushes I have. Um, I'm going to get a couple more of these because they're so multi-purpose. I want to use one for cream, like bronzer, and I want it for like my illuminating primer, but I can't use it for both because otherwise it makes my face look really dodgy. And then I've got loads of their eye brushes. I tell you, these brushes are cruelty-free. They're vegan-friendly. They're amazing. They're such good. And this is the only brush I'll use for foundation because it doesn't leave streak marks. So I'm just saying. like my skin just looks flawless um so i'm just gonna use this brush like boop, boop. only a little bit though because it's really it kind of blends in really well with the um bronzer you know what i am i'm gonna go with the marilyn monroe because i'm channeling like in a marilyn monroe is oh my god will be will be like look how pretty that is though come on hi me it is quite glittery so we're gonna have to like it's very glittery but look at the payoff like i'm gonna have glitter now all over me <laughs> like the payoff is amazing and then i'm gonna but the reason why i don't use it often is because it gets glitter everywhere so now I'm going to go in with my trusty brunch club. This is just a real techniques brush I got for Christmas. Just a layer on top to take away a bit of it. But look. <laughs> I do look a bit orange, I have to admit. Like, I am... Seeing it, I recognised it, but we're choosing to ignore, okay? So, I don't need the comments telling me I look orange. <laughs> um, right, we're going to go in with the magic. This is not a drill. It's a, yeah, these, the only thing with matte nails is because I put makeup on, it's not working too well. But yeah, so today is a do or die. Sorry, under eye circles. If the concealer wasn't doing enough, this bloody powder puff sorts it out. Oh, it's just... It's witchcraft. <laughs> it is. It's bloody witchcraft, I'm telling you. Um, I'm sorry, that's just incredible. Um, put a bit of girl code... We're going to chat properly once I've done my makeup, all right? It's just so much easier. But when I tell you, I already feel a million dollars. I don't know whether it's going to work, but we'll just have to wait and see. Eh. Kind of. And now we're going to set it with my favourite... Oh. <sighs> I feel like it's being slept on by a lot of people like you need this setting this in your collection I know I was the girl that used to 
my Tom setting mist. I'll be like, no. Yes, under ten pound. Bloody amazing product. So glad I got it. But we're gonna try doing my makeup at the same time because otherwise this makeup's gonna be out for like four days. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it hasn't been a great week. Today is gonna like this evening is gonna be like <laughs> the calling vote, should we say? Um, which is why I'm going out with my friends afterwards. Nothing major, just to see them and just to well either way i'm seeing them but you know it's more called upon if things go south um but yeah i'm gonna put a bit of this on as well because i prefer this lip oil who would have thought i prefer a different lip oil to girl code okay i do look a bit orange but um I'm actually really happy with this makeup. The lighting's not the best right now, but yeah, so this week has just been a roller coaster of emotions and <laughs> I just if as I said I didn't have who I had around me, I don't know how it would have gone, how I would have been. Yeah, so I'm grateful to my work colleagues beyond measurable doubt. Like, I'm so grateful to them. I'm grateful to my family because they're also friends as well. Do you know what I mean? But I'm so grateful for the work, like the work side of things, how great they've been, my family and my friends because <laughs> it's been emotional, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, all will be spoken about in due time when it's time, you know? But I just feel like it's easier because talking about it in this way because i'm i'm honest with how i am and i would be lying if i sat down to do my makeup now today of all days going so i'm so happy let's get on with the evening because that is just not how i'm feeling so i think i'm very transparent like that and i'm not gonna lie because that benefits no one weekend kind of glam when i can be asked which can i just remind you is hardly any other time i say that i lacked pride in my appearance that pride in myself which is changing drastically um so this is gonna be more of a norm to put some makeup on for if i don't feel like makeup that's fine you don't have to wear makeup to feel good but you know it's just kind of like free therapy i just look at myself and go oh, that's me <laughs> with a bit of a um, help from revolution <laughs> um but yeah so that's kind of like my every weekend kind of glam look i'm thinking about doing like a work look and talking about sort of like other stuff like a more simple like work look that you may want to try i'm not a makeup influencer i'm not an influencer i hate that word it's so cringe um i'm just a content creator and on a small scale and i love it um and i i love filming makeup videos so i'm doing it more for me to be honest <laughs> so i can just chat absolute shit um but yeah so just let me know if there's any makeup looks in particular do you want to see any makeup based videos um i did say in my full face of first impressions i'm never filming one of these again um i could be persuaded um i want to do a full face first impressions of one brand w7 being one of them because i've now become a, one of their vip people so you know um that's something i'm going to be investing in because i love w7 it's a good dupe brand and they have some really good products as well so um i'm gonna do that at some point in the next couple of months so just let me know what videos you want to see basically in the comments down below um and stay tuned for my 2000 subscriber giveaway it is coming at the end of february beginning of march time because i've got a bunch of products but i want to buy some more um and just kind of like put a lot of thought into it so keep your eyes peeled for that we're nearly at 2010 like can we actually fathom that my little space of people is now 2000 people big <laughs> big you know what I mean. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for letting me chat absolute rubbish for the last like probably 30 minutes. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'll get there. And if you needed a sign today, no matter when I post this, probably in a week's time. But, you know, I'm going to watch this back and say to myself, I'm, I'm talking to myself now whilst I'm editing this. Um, and also to any of you guys that need to hear it, you are strong, you are powerful and you are independent. And don't let anyone take that away from you. So yeah, enough said. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash a big thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you in my next vlog or video, whichever one you watch first. Bye.